Some critics describe your lyrics as Philistine. As what? Philistine. Anti-intellectual. They suggest that the sexual and violent content of your lyrics plants those kinds of ideas in the minds of listeners. What do you say to that? Do you think you're indoctrinating the youth? Plants ideas. <laughs> plants ideas? Well, listen, I don't know about that. I mean, if a man tells you you're on fire, but you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're not, you won't even flinch. The only reason you'd even feel for the flames is if you already smelled the smoke. Liam Keaton and the stage. My influences. Well, I've been influenced by anyone who's ever laid down a fucking sound, I guess. It's a pretty vague question you got there. What were your aspirations as a child? Be somebody? Change the fucking world? Or at least make a decent record. One that wouldn't end up on somebody's fucking wall. Speaking of which, you've explained at length in previous interviews how you've built up most of your existing fan base through live performances and word of mouth. Mm-hmm. The old-fashioned way. 
you nervous that your first album won't live up to your live fan base's expectations? Hey, what's going on? What happened? It's Liam. He went over the edge. They can't find him. So we could still be alive. I mean, we really don't know what's happening here. I mean, he's run out on us before, and he's always come back. Sophie, I'm sure it's not what it seems. Your music deals a lot with pain. What is it that hurts you? I don't know. What hurts you? I only meant that some of your songs seem directed at someone. In some cases, it sounds like you're speaking to a lover. You wouldn't have a match, would you? Can't always get what you want. Thought I'd try. Tell me, what kind of woman does it take to catch the eye of Liam Keaton? I got it. with those. I thought I would be you today. That's not me, babe. All right. I'm gonna go in and get a spot before it gets too crowded. 
You are going to do awesome. I love you. So what happened? Nothing set him off? He was fine. He was Liam. It, it was all my fault. It was all my fault. From the day we're born, God puts his big old finger on our forehead and says, now you be good. Sometimes, you gotta look him in the eye and say, give me a reason. This song's called Ghost. Well, there's gotta be somebody, doesn't there? There has to be somebody in the life of Liam Keaton he's willing to give it all for. Someone who ain't there, darling. You got anything else? What is your definition of honesty? Tell you what it ain't. Ain't nothing in this world. What about you, huh? You know what honesty is. I only know what you tell me. What makes Liam Keaton who he is? What makes anyone who they are? Come on. What makes you take what's below the surface? <laughs> below the surface. What is there to Liam Keaton besides what we get on stage? What you see is what you get, baby. Bullshit. Excuse me. That's bullshit. Come on, what's inside the pretty little head of yours? What's inside oh. yours? Freud ain't a good look for you, sweetheart. Come on, give me more than a soundbite to run. Are you really trying to tell me that this is Liam Keaton? There are no angels or demons beneath the man? All right, this next song. What is it you want from me? 
you ever let anyone break you down? This song's called Howling Phantom. What the hell is she talking about? It's her fault. Sophie caught Liam with another chick after the show. They got into a fight and stormed out of the club. You know, it's not the first time that's happened. I guess he just took it harder this time. Sophie! Sophie, come back! Sophie. Hey, Rockstar. You got some time? For you? I got the rest of my life, Donald. must be paid. What? Attention must be... Arthur Miller's death of a salesman. Willie Loman kills himself and his wife says attention must be paid. All you need to do is die to be a hero. You think you're better than that? Do you think they're any different than you or me? The things that made them the same were just rolled up into a casket and buried into the ground. I thought maybe you might have caught on. We're just playing along. What? Jesus, Liam, do you know how many rock and roll prophets cover the pages of our magazine each year? I mean, don't get me wrong. The stuff you gave me isn't bad. It's just a little sick of it. Do you know how tiring it all gets? <sighs> fuck you, cunt. <sighs> no, fuck you, Liam. Fuck every one of you pretty boy replicas. Do you know how many rock gods I have to sit across from and listen to rattle on about their bullshit? We fuck, the story goes to print, and do you think I remember their name in two weeks? Do you think anybody does? Do you think anybody ever will? Let's see. Don't give a damn what people think, but terrified how they react. That's one of yours, right? <laughs> Is that your definition of honesty?
We were just out celebrating. Rented a boat, had a few drinks. And Liam just gets up on the ledge and. He stood up there. He just looked at all of us. He said something. Shit, it was like French. Allons-y. I can't sleep until I'm home again But for now, for now I feel the air I was lying in bed one night With my soul out to redeem We can't print this. Why not? Spitting on graves doesn't sell papers. What are you talking about? You haven't seen this? All my dreams are dancing on the wind Waiting for the ending to begin And I can't sleep until I'm home again But for now for now I feel the air. Brian, I'm in a bit of a bind here. You have Scott's number? Even though I'm just her pal